Our time of confession and assurance come from Isaiah as well. Immediately following uh, Isaiah's vision or the start of Isaiah's vision when he has seen the Lord on his throne and the train of his robe filling the temple with glory. Immediately after the seraphim have spoken their chorus, Isaiah says in verse 5, Woe to me, I cried. I am ruined. For I am a man of unclean lips, and I live among a people of unclean lips, and my eyes have seen the King, the Lord Almighty. Let us come before the Lord in a, a time of confessional prayer. Father in heaven, we confess with Isaiah that we, too, are unclean. That in and of ourselves, apart from you, there is no way for us to stand in your presence, to be in your presence, to exist in your presence. Lord, we confess that apart from you, we are not holy that we have done unclean things, that we have sinned and done that which was wrong. And so, Lord, please, hear our confession as we take a moment of silence. Lord, thank you for hearing our prayers. Please, O oh God, forgive us. In Jesus' name, amen. Our words of assurance also, likewise, come from Isaiah chapter 6. In it, we read that after Isaiah has cried out his woe because of his uncleanness, we read the seraphim taking action. Then one of the seraphs, verse 6, then one of the seraphs flew to me with a live coal in his hand, which he had taken with tongs from the altar. With it he touched my mouth and said, See, this has touched your lips. Your guilt is taken away, and your sin atoned for. Brothers and sisters, we too have been touched by the live coal from the altar of the Lord, and that live coal is none other than Jesus Christ, our Lord. The righteousness of God has washed us clean because of Jesus and because of his love, because of his righteousness and holiness, because of his sacrifice for us, because he who was in all ways perfectly clean became uncleanness itself for us. He took on all of our sin, and he took on all of our uncleanness, and he became those things for us on the cross, so that the holiness of God consumed his sin, well, not his sin, our sin, for us, so that now, because of Jesus, we too are holy. Let us sing together our praises to God who is holy. <laughs> 